Hey y'all, it's DX Stamp and Sharon. I have got two fun things to share with you today and I hope that you think it's just as cute as I do. I have been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator since 1997 and I absolutely love learning and then teaching you what I learn. If you're new to my channel, I want to welcome you. You can subscribe by hitting the button below and then hit the notification bell. You'll be notified the next time I upload a video. If you do not currently have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would be honored to help you with your Stampin' Up! supply needs. Let me show you what I'm so excited about today. On today's video, we're going to be playing with this adorable bundle, Free Skate. First, I was like, oh, that skate's so big. I don't know what to do. Well, because it's so big, you don't have to do much to make a gorgeous card. So it has the dies, and something that I wanna point out to you is the blade, okay? There is a blade for you to use when you want to make your skate blades um, either gold or metallic. I wanted gold, and can you hear the bells? I added bells for the shoe at the shoelaces. Isn't that cute? On this card, I actually used the plaid uh, designer series paper, and I got to thinking, well, what if you don't have the plaid? And since there's some other stamps, like snowflakes, that come in that set, let's use them. So this is an idea for you. Everything I'm gonna do on this video is exactly the same, except for the background. I like to leave my, these are the cling mount stamps, so they're sticky. And whenever I'm preparing for a video or getting ready to stamp, I like to just leave them on the stamp face up. That way they're not too hard to get off when I am done stamping. All right, we're gonna use our embossing buddy over this whole layer. Grab our Versamark ink. Now, I know that snowflakes are usually white. However, for today's card, they're not going to be. They're going to be gold. Yeah, gold snowflakes. That'll work, right? I just want to tie into the gold of the, of the skates and the bells. We could have gone with any other color, but the bells only come red, green, and gold. So that's the colors we had to stick with. I thought about doing white snowflakes. However, I decided that if you are new to stamping or you're just getting started with embossing, you may not have all the colors that I do. So I try to be mindful of that. So now I want to heat set. Since my paper is curling, if you will heat set from the back a little bit, it'll help fix that. Just setting that aside. We're gonna do more embossing. Just gonna put my embossing buddy over the entire Whisper White layer. I probably got a little crazy, but I need two skates. These are so easy to cut out. I'm gonna kind of look at it in the light, see where our skate is. And then we're gonna do a sentiment. I'm just gonna do all this embossing at one time. Cover up our Versamark. Mm 
more heat setting. I pulled in my absolute number one favorite, the stitched rectangle dies. I love these. I have just found that they just are so universal, such a great value for your money because you can use it on so many things. So I believe I used the third one from the center. I don't know, nope, that's too big, it's this one. Nope, that's too big. Really? Just right. I feel like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. And then, of course, you know we have our skates, so I'll be back. So we have our card base. We have everything cut out. And now we're just going to assemble. Once you do the embossing, which everything's gold. We didn't switch it up and add any. Whoops, I think I got my head in the camera. We didn't switch it up and add any white embossing. We just decided that we could handle having gold snowflakes for this card. You know, to me, it's all about the sparkle and the shine. Um, and we want it to match. Okay, so now our skates, I'm gonna pop out those little bits. Okay. I've cut out my gold bow and my two blades. Now for the blades, we're gonna add some liquid glue. We're gonna add some liquid glue right in there. And let me tell you, when you emboss these, blade, these skates like this, do you know how easy it is for the dies to just seat right over that uh, embossed boot? It's amazing. Okay, so I've debated about whether I should share this with you. I remember the video I said um, to keep in mind that it came with the blades. Well, when I saw the image in the catalog, the sample, I missed the blade in the dies. So I was totally doing it the hard way and I debated about whether to share it with you, but it is kind of cute, so I'm gonna do it. I ended up stamping the boot and in Versamark in gold, and then I cut it out. <laughs> but I cut the the heel. See, I made her I made her boot have a gold heel. It's totally the hard way to do this. So I just I'm gonna share my boo boo with you so that you will remember this story. Do as I say, not as I did. <laughs> I held on to it and I've debated and debated, do I share? Ah, sure, they'll think it's funny. Okay, so I just decided to add a little bit of liquid glue on one side of the, of the uh, skate just to try to help me decide, how did I like it? Because once I add it on with dimensionals, that's pretty much it. So I'm pretty happy with that. So we're gonna add dimensionals and we're gonna make sure that we catch those two boots together, those two skates. And with me doing this on Whisper Wide, I, there's no coloring. All we did was some embossing. Center it right there. We're gonna bring in our liquid glue again. Add the bow, grab our bells. Now, I'm gonna tell you, when I did these, I, I mean, I did this yesterday, 
I don't know if you can see, there is a mini dimensional. It's holding pretty good. I mean, I've been shaking it and rattling it around and sharing it with my friend when she came over. But I'm wondering, uh, for if you don't have the mini dimensionals, I'm thinking for this one, we're going to add a pool of glue. And then we're going to add our bells because they're tiny. I looked at how could I add them with strings? Mm -mm. No, that wasn't happening either. All right, so obviously I can't pick that up because they'll fall off. But you see, use designer series paper, use cardstock, use whatever inspires you and makes you smile.